Hello. Finally. <laughs> Welcome back. Finally. <laughs> it's so good to have you again. Um, we yourself yagbe, right? So um welcome back guys. Today's um part two is going to be answering your questions like we said earlier on, and um you will be doing us the privilege to answer all your questions that you dropped on the comment section on the previous video. Okay. Hope we are ready. I'm ready. I hope okay. I don't think. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to go straight to the questions and then ask them one after the other. Um, so number one question is um um Oluwato Yossi was asking, like he said, please about the letters of recommendation, must it be from lecturers from the school you finished from? That's a very good question. Uh no. The same answer is no, it must not be from the school you finish from. But uh, anybody that's offering you a letter of recommendation is someone that should be in a place to that will be able to speak about your capacity, your character, whatever your okay. fit for the program. So if the person is not in university, ask yourself a very simple question: What can this person say about me? Okay. In terms of being able to succeed in an academic environment, you understand? Because uh, the, the most people are just like blinded by i want to get an lr i want to get an lr but get an lr we said lr was letter of recommendation right because so it's error for short form mm. so get an lr is is different from getting the right lr so the right letter must be able to address your ability to succeed in the program your fit for the program yeah. why this person believes you will be able to succeed in this program what have you what have, what has the person noticed, you know? So if it was a lecturer from university, you could say things like, oh, he was taking my class, uh, so and so class, and he was able to do so and so things. So with this, I'm able to attest to his ability to succeed in the program. So if the person is not from a university, what can the person say about you? That's true. That's the question. Yeah. So if the person cannot say anything beyond, oh, he's a nice man, you're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, All right, thank you. Um, by the way, let me just put point like, um, if you're new here, this is a this is a live video with you on how to get fully funded scholarship in the United States. Um, as an overseas student, okay. Um, so sorry I didn't introduce that earlier on. Going to number two question. Um, Moses was asking, will I get scholarship to study? Um, what's this? Masters for audiology and speech therapy in the United States? Uh, the short answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'll illustrate more on that is, the United States is the hub of scholarship in the world. In other words, every university has some money laid aside for research for scholarship. So there's always money for scholarship. The thing is, it, it may not be, that course seems like a very niche course, so it may not be offered in every university. So it is okay. the first thing, Moses, right? It's your duty to research the schools that offer that course and tailor your application to that school. So, okay. yeah, that's what I would advise. Don't just go and apply for, you know, random and say, okay, yeah, this school offers this program. Yay, I'm applying. No, calm down, look at it, look at the requirements, ask yourself if you meet those requirements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And most people just, you know, well, I meet this requirement, I'm going to apply, but look at it very well. How can you stand out? Because everybody, thousands of people are re responding to that same requirement. So ask yourself, how can I stand out from yeah. this? And if you ask yourself this question, it should, it should show in your CV, it should show in your statement of purpose, and it should show in your letters of recommendations from your lecturers. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you. Um, number three question was from Ola Dimeji, and she was asking, how can I get admission to university for PhD economics education without GROE, IELTS, and others? Admission? Yeah, without uh, uh, IELTS, <laughs> GROE, and others, that's PhD. Oh, God, I can't talk about this for like two days. The thing is, when I see questions, I'm always laughing like, they should wave everything for you and see you. Ah, come on, you know, greedy like that. <laughs> so, I, I, what I always explain, well, I can understand 
where the person coming from. So let me let me put it this way. Everybody everybody claims to know how to speak English. For instance, I'm going to just give an example. Everybody can say they can speak English. So Nigeria claims that they are an English speaking country. Same with Ghana, South Africa, uh, Namibia, all African countries are anglophone. Yeah. And in you know, other countries of the world, they can speak English. So how do they? How are they sure that everybody can speak English? And the only way to be sure is to have a standardized measure Tasting. of English speaking. That's why the IELTS came about and, and the TOEFL came about. So you may need to write those exams if you want to get funding for those programs. You may need to write those examinations. Uh, also, GRE is also very important. Most 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 departments that have GRE as requirements use that to, for decisions of funding. So if you have, if you are, let's say, 10 like, people apply to that program and you only need five people for the program, they use the GRE as a deciding factor. So 10 people who apply, they all have good results, they all have good grades, they, they have, people are singing their praises, they are good. How do yeah. they, they decide on who they should admit? Yeah. So that's why they bring in GRE and the, and the, ILTS because this thing is this thing is very important. Like I don't want to shit anybody, but I've seen people, I've been kind of people that are from non-English speaking country countries, and it is very difficult to communicate in English. Very difficult, you know. So and this is not to say that English is the best language in the world. No, the point is your teaching will be in English, your assessment will be in English, everything in the background will be in English. Nobody will translate to French for you or to Chinese or to Yoruba or to Igbo, nobody. Mm -hmm. So you must be, they, must, they, they need to be sure that you can truly communicate in mm -hmm. English language. Mm -hmm. And some programs do this by interview. They can set up programs that, that don't require IELTS, have interviews with the candidates. Mm -hmm. So in that interview process, they can engage you to be sure that you can really understand their questions, and you can really communicate in English language. But if they don't have interview, my dear, Go and save money and write IELTS. It, 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 it's in nine thousand, I think. So. Yeah. Yeah. So please, please get. Uh, like, what I always say is, it's better to have something and not need it, than to need something and not have it. Yeah. So please, it, and also having having IELTS and GRE opens more opportunities for you to apply. But some schools yeah. need those 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 um those uh, documents. Why the ones that don't need it are very few. So if you have those documents, you you have access to more, you know, Great more pull up. Exactly. So please, add the exam. Very important. Okay. Right. Thank you. Um. So number four was from Oluwaseyi Oluwatosi saying, "Can I get a scholarship with HND uh, certificate? That is, if you are a HND or that." Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, we, yeah. yeah, we've worked with people that had HND before and they were able to get funding in the United States. One is even doing a master's program in the United States right now. So right. um, it, it's very important, very, uh, very possible to do your HND in the US with scholarship. You just have to follow the procedures. There are things to do. And if I start now, believe me, I won't win this video program. <laughs> so, so um yes the answer is yes you can truly right. get admission with uh scholarship with hnd right. 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 you want okay. to talk more you can shoot me a dm anywhere on social media and then we'll, yeah. we'll talk yeah okay so um fifth question so our oh, yellow elizabeth is asking is it just for phd masters what about first degree programs like can you do first degree programs and have scholarship for them oh wow yes and no <laughs> I'm really very careful to say yes in undergrad. Undergrad programs in the US are very, very competitive, very competitive. And the, the you and people that are already worried about writing IELTS and GRE, how can you cope? So if you are worried, if you are the type that don't want to write any exam, you cannot forget about undergraduate scholarship because to get scholarship on, in undergrad, you must write the SAT. So that's like the GRE, but for uh, bachelor's level so yeah. you must write that exam to be able to compete okay. and it, it's not even guaranteed so because that's because a lot of people in the u.s a lot of people in the u.s go for for undergrad programs so and that's the way they normally used to fund uh masters and doctoral students so let me quickly explain but most people think that this money comes from the sky no so <laughs> each university yeah let's say computer science department for instance 
they they admit let's say two hundred undergrad students for that for their for their first year program. This undergrad students need people to teach them, need people to do lab work with, need people to do uh run software programs with. You understand? So and they cannot overwork their professors because they, they have strict uh what's called agreement with the professors. So that's where the people that's what they call that's what this uh, doctor so comes into place. So if you are doing your, your PhD or your masters, you come in there by doing TA work for this student. So these students need to pay tuition to be able to for them to be able to pay you. Mm. You understand? So that's why the scholarship for undergrads is very little by design. So that the school can have a lot of money to you know fund other programs for other people. Yeah. yeah. Because when you get to that level as well, you also be funded. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So if, 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 if from undergrad to PhD is all free, who what would they get the money from? From exactly from, 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 from palm tree? No. So but the, the, to answer the question is yes, but you have to work more, much more harder than every other person. Mm-hmm. Your wife has to be on point. You have to write IELTS. Don't don't bother yourself with write, write, write everything. That's SAT, right? Jar yourself. So give a very, very, very powerful application. Yeah. So they need to be like, ah, we need this person. Oh, you so you have to write um all of them, like IOCS, TOEFL, GRE together, like all. You can use the SAT to substitute for GRE, but you can you must write those exams to be able to stand the chance. Yeah. If not, they will give you admission with zero funding, zero. Mm. Okay, <laughs> at least mm-hmm. it's the admission. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me just add this question for those that might have it in mind to ask. Um, it's about I don't know if I asked it in the last time, though I can't remember. Like, can you work and school at the same time? Like, have definitely, a definitely. The let me quickly explain. Um, when we say scholarship, it's not like it's not a grant, they're not dashing you this money and say, Oh. You are so beautiful and so intelligent. Take this money. No, <laughs> what you are saying is, yeah, we admit you for for you to study your program. Then you will work for what you'll be our employee. Oh, okay. We'll be paying you. That's what oh. we mean by work and school. Okay. So if you are on scholarship, you it is almost impossible to work outside of your scholarship because you already be working all the hours for the scholarship. You understand? Except maybe on holidays like summer break. Oh, okay. And break, break, break. But if you are not, if you don't have any scholarship, you are just a student in America. Yes, you can work twenty hours. That you can work part time jobs throughout the semester. I can work full time in doing breaks. Like we have spring break now, so you can work full time this spring break. You can work full time summer break for three months. You can work doing Christmas break. So yeah. 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 Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, is there anything you would like to ask for us here again before we, you know, give uh, the extra? <laughs> yeah, everything I want to add is still about this money. You know, I, I think a lot of people, a, a lot of people have ambition, and which is very important because yeah. you know, for you to achieve any goals, you must have ambition, right? But you need to temper your ambition, your ambition with reality. And yeah. money is very important. I, I, I said it before, but I want to say it again because I've seen a lot of things. Trust me, money is important. You know, in Nigeria, wherever you are in Africa, I think most, I think, let me say something. I know Nigeria, right? In Nigeria, you pay your rent per annum. You yeah. pay once in a year. But here, nobody will allow you to pay your rent once in a year. You pay every month. And you need to have money every month. You buy your groceries every month like that. You know, everything is going monthly. Your cell phone plan monthly. Everything. So you need to be able to strategize. And don't think that school in America is easier than school in Nigeria. No. Please. Okay. <laughs> school in America is the most difficult in the world. Yeah. Trust me. It's very intense. And it's intense in a way that you must use your brain. And brain work is the most tasking. So that you just be tired. After one class, you'll be tired because you just did a lot of thinking. And you be like, oh, God, I'm just exhausted. So I cannot work again. So what if you cannot work? What if you're sick? And healthcare is very expensive here. So plan yourself. Plan these things. At yeah. least figure out how you will take care of yourself for that one month and your yeah. funding. Please, yeah. so that when you come here, you will not be a burden to yourself, to people. Do not blacklist your country and say, if that's how people do people country do, you know, just make a plan. It's better to come to America in 2025 legally, confidently, 
than to rush here tomorrow and be sent back home. So that's what I have to or say. To, or than to enter boat and come. Or enter boat. <laughs> exactly. So planning is very important. Planning is very important. Plan, think about it, plan again. Ask yourself, what if? You know, okay, fine, I have this. What if? Ask yourself, what if? You know, mm -hmm. I have five hundred dollars to with me, but what if I don't get a good commercial? What would I do? What if, you know? So you can be able to think about different scenarios because when you cross, when you enter that plane across that border, yeah. you are you are in you are on your own. No? Mm -hmm. You are on your own. There's nothing like Odent 2K here. I've said before, no Odent no 2K. Yeah. There is no uh, uh please bear with me thank you first. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah honestly on your own. And it, 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 I know you cannot really understand, but try to plan first. At least plan what you can see first, so you can you'll be sure that you meet do your best. Thank you so much. All right, guys, you've heard this. And um, um, all your cell get is like it helps people to process admission into these schools. And so you can reach out to him and you can reach out to me to reach out to him as well in case you're not able to reach him. But it's all your cell get on Facebook, on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Everywhere. Everywhere. In Mars. Uh -huh. it's not like me that is just to the world in youtube and this one here <laughs> so it's the same name everywhere you can reach out to him on any social media account and then he'll help you to process these things and make it faster and um so thank you guys thank you so much for watching will you thank you for coming on live with us anytime, anytime. And three, our four, question. Five, five, six, two times <laughs> 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 all right so take care bye <laughs>